if sugar is so harmful, then why is it so delicious? From an evolutionary standpoint, only things that increase our chances of survival should taste good, not things that increase our chances of dying. Why do we enjoy what destroys us? It's strange and counterintuitive. That's why many people can't stop eating sugar. They misjudge the risks. People think that the main danger of sugar is the risk of diabetes and obesity in the future. But that's not true. The main danger of sugar is that it's a drug. That's not about medical issues in the future. That's about your motivation in the present. Sugar does indeed lead to obesity. But what's even sadder, obesity and sugar reduce the sensitivity of our dopamine receptors. The more sugary stuff you eat, the harder it becomes to enjoy life. Because moderate doses of dopamine from beneficial activities like exercise or reading a book become insufficient to stimulate the reward system. People just find it uninteresting and boring. Why bother exercising if it doesn't bring a high? But that eating pastry, on the other hand, will provide more dopamine and the person will immediately feel pleasure. What will they choose? What gives a high? Sugar. Our problem is that our brain perceives sweet food as highly beneficial, because for hundreds of thousands of years of our species evolution, it really was. First, any sweet food was rare and useful. Only beneficial foods rich in vitamins and antioxidants could be the source of sweetness. Secondly, it was impossible to overeat such food due to its fiber content. The feeling of fullness forced you to stop. What has changed now? Everything. Now the main source of sweetness is refined sugar devoid of any vitamins, antioxidants and fiber. There's no satiety, no benefit, only pleasure. Sugar stimulates dopamine release, but there is no satiety. The perfect food trap. The more sweet stuff we eat, the more we crave. Because the baseline level of dopamine rises. And big stimuli like healthy food, fitness or reading are no longer enough to activate our reward system. Mild stimulations don't work. The system only responds to strong spikes. And so we consume more sugar to crave even more sweetness later. Can you give it up? Yeah, sure. But what happens when people quit drugs? They go through suffering. A dependent person feels unwell and food seems tasteless. Motivation is diminished. There is a strong desire to consume not for pleasure, but to return to the usual baseline level. In simpler terms, without sugar, a person feels depressed and suppressed for several weeks. In such a state, a person is highly vulnerable and seeks quick pleasures to compensate for the reduced dopamine. The market offers a wide range of such pleasures. Alcohol, computer games, pornography, drugs, gambling. If rapid pleasure is attempted in the context of reduced dopamine, a bad habit will instantly form and breaking it later will be very difficult. Scientists have conducted numerous experiments on sugar-dependent rats. It turns out that sugar reduces willpower, the desire to move, and increases antisocial behavior. Sugar-addicted rats drink more alcohol if given the chance than regular rats. If these rats were given a low dose of amphetamine, they experience more euphoria and become addicted faster. What sugar does to the brain is very similar to what cocaine and amphetamine do. Vulnerability to temptation increases while motivation decreases. Nothing brings joy except quick pleasures. The strongest and most harmful addictions arise when you consume tasty fat. This is food where sugar is combined with fat, pastries, chocolate, cakes, chips, cookies, and candies. Up to 80% of the products you buy in supermarkets contain an excessive amount of sugar. Juices and soft drinks, yogurt and sauces, bread and dessert, ready-made breakfast and snacks. There are two reasons why manufacturers find it profitable to add sugar to their products. Firstly, the tastier it is, the more sales it generates. Consumers like sweet products. Secondly, sugar extends the shelf life of food. So, sugar forms an addiction that ruins your life and diminishes your motivation. There are four pieces of advice on how to combat this addiction. Firstly, avoid tasty fat. The tastier it is, the more harmful it is. The tastier, the weaker you will be in the future. If you want to eat something sweet, 
it shouldn't be fatty. Even better if you consume sweet foods like origins, grapes, or pineapples. Secondly, avoid highly processed food. Try to cook your own meals or buy minimally processed food. Chips, fast food, ready-made lunches, sausages, white bread. These are bad foods. Vegetables, fruits, meat, eggs, grains, whole grain bread. These are good foods. Thirdly, have a protein shake in the morning. This will change the nutrient ratio and provide a feeling of satiety. You will consume fewer sweet calories throughout the day and your overall nutrition intake will be healthier. Fourthly, don't eat while watching TV. It's a 100% way to overeat. Try to eat in silence, chewing your food carefully. Sugar is a legal food drug that destroys lives and motivation. Now you understand how it works and what to do about it. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I wish you a calm mind, a fit body, love and go forth.